Hi everyone, it's Jill from Jilly Bean Studio. I hope you're well, and if you have some creative time today, grab your supplies. I would love if you journal with me. Today I'm finishing up December Ember and doing a polar bear spread. I also have a new backdrop paper and took my old one, swiped it with some paint, and I'm considering this for the next junk journal in the new year. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> I'm looking forward to 2022 journaling. So I hope you're having some journaling fun today or can craft along, whatever, whatever makes you happy. I am finishing up and sharing December Ember. The last week, I, um, I think I ended on the 18th. So I'll be showing you that today. And later I'll be in the Hobonichi doing a polar bear spread for my week in review. So I'm finishing today. <laughs> it's a finish of sorts also for this junk journal that I used all fall and now have the December daily, December ember insert. And I want to share with you a little bit more of some of the fun prompts that Barbara from 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel have given us for the month. Really had a good time with that. If you're not sure what ephemera is, if you're new to the whole journaling idea, it's really making tags and pockets and things that you can add to your journal. So on the 18th, the prompt was snow and cigarette and tea card. And honestly, I had no idea what a cigarette or tea card was, so I had to Google it. <laughs> I used some Stamperia scrap paper, some scraps, some metallic paper, just things I had around, a little washi tape. And I also tried to figure out what the size was. Apparently, there's a lot of flexibility on size as well. So I'm not sure. This is eh, just shy of four inches in length and... Yeah, a little over two in width. This one's two and a half by mm, almost two inches. So you can play around with your size. Basically, they're cute little cards. And then a splash of paint was the snow part. The next prompt was a stamp using stamping and a page tab. So I just used that little quote from Stamperia paper again, did my journaling and documenting. Now this was fun. That's sort of a cupcake wrapper that was actually in my hot cocoa bomb <laughs> that I talked about in another session. I just glittered that up and I put my center sentiment uh, in the stock there. So I just wrote a little bit about a frost flower on the left. And then for the next prompt, 21, was wax and tea bag label. Had a great time with this wax crayon. Put that down first on the page, little watercolor wash, and uh, the actual red rose tea bag from um, the actual tea tag, rather, from the tea bag. <laughs> the next one was uh, the 22nd, and it was circle and mushroom. So I followed Barbara a little bit more closely on this one and used a CD envelope stamped it up a bit and then realized, oh my goodness, it does not really fit in the Traveler's Notebook journal. So I put it in half and it's just gonna be like that. <laughs> Next one is a calendar timetable and lace. Made a very simple tag, or tab rather, for that. And on the 24th was a fabric paper clip. I ended up using some Tim Holtz fabric that I had, scrapping it up, little Fabri-Tac, and again, a little bit of journaling and documenting on the bottom. This is a nice Sarasa in a pen in like an evergreen color. Now this one was tricky. I had a hard time with this one. I think again, I followed Barbara on that. That is a sticker packaging tag. So it is packaging and wood. Used a little Distress Oxide in the back and then lo and behold, I had to pull out the big guns. Yes, the glue gun. <laughs> to get those little twigs from the backyard. And yeah, I even had to put my boots on and go out in the snow for that one. <laughs> 
I love it. It's a cute little thing. It is a little bulky though, so we'll we'll figure that out when it comes to uh, putting it in the journal. And now I'm really doing this journal session on December 26th, and December Ember ends on Christmas. So uh, I had a great time doing this whole challenge. It got me out of my comfort zone, got me creatively thinking. I love it. I love a good prompt list and challenge and had a whole lot of fun. So I will just be journaling for the rest of December in the notebook. And then the grand finale will be tucking this in and keeping it in my fall junk journal 2021. I'm thinking about doing a simple closure using that same string or cord just to keep this little chubby traveler's notebook together. Yeah, I like that. So much fun. I don't know about you. Are you a person who does prompts and challenges? I would definitely recommend checking out 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel. Thank you so much <laughs> to both of them and I will link them below. At this point, I have thought about my journal and what my next steps are going to be. And one of the things that I kept thinking about before I moved on was how I'm going to close this and actually how can I close this? <laughs> and after a little bit of sitting here, honestly, wondering what I was going to do, I decided to take the last day of the ephemera challenge and pull the wood and the packaging prompt out. And instead, I thought maybe I will use some sort of tie or closure ribbon or I really like this. Um, it, it has the, um, I don't even know what it's called. There is a name to it, pom-pom ribbon, maybe. I like this. I think, you know, this was originally a fall journal with the winter insert. So I think that's really cute. And then... After all that, I decided to take the little bit of ephemera and tuck it right in there. So here we go. I think that's really sweet. I can use that last day tag. And again, thank you, Barbara and Louisa, for a really fun December. All right. Now moving on to my Hobonichi Day Free, which is an undated journal which I personally love. So I can do two or three or four pages. My journal practice is to gather across the week. Sometimes I the supplies I want, like these cards and candy wrappers, and sometimes I sketch out a little bit like I did with this polar bear on the right. And uh, oh yeah, and I've also been inspired by some cute packaging on this crafty gift, holiday gift I got. Isn't that adorable? I think I'm going to put that in later too. I don't know if it's going to go in this session, but I love that snowman with the candy bar and the sanitizer. Cute gift. So that will probably go in later, but just wanted to share that. Adorable, adorable craftiness. <laughs> and anyway, so what I usually do across the week is gather things on my desk, sketch a little bit, and then towards the end of the week, I do a week in review. I write just some highlights of things that have happened and do two, three, or four pages. So that is what I'm going to do in this Polar Bear journal session spread. And I'm having a dangity dang time. <laughs> I cannot get the backing off this napkin. In fact, I can't at all. So it's going down. <laughs> it's going down with its double layer. I think because it, it was sort of pressed together. I don't know. There was like an embossed quality to it is what I want to say. It just wasn't, it wasn't coming apart for me. So I've gone in with a wet brush and I'm thinking about just using this on the top left hand side for part of a background page, definitely a snowy theme. I don't know what um, what it's like in your area, but I live in New England. And this of course was Christmas weekend for those of us who celebrate Christmas. And we had some snow on the 24th. That was our 
family celebration was actually, the big celebration was on the 24th, and then there were uh, smaller gatherings on Christmas Day. So I am sig uh, signifying the snow that we actually got on the 24th. Let it snow. <laughs> it did. We had a somewhat white Christmas. And then later, um, or the following day on Christmas morning, we, it actually got pretty icy. So I am documenting with this Christmas card that actually my mom gave me and making a little pocket and tag the fact that we did have a somewhat white Christmas in New England here. We also had a little icy Christmas. <laughs> Oh goodness, but that's New England weather. And yeah, I think I um I'm going to I can journal on the back of that card and now what I'm considering is using these candy wrappers that were consumed <laughs> over the course of the week and more than that for sure. I'm putting that on the um on the top for just a little bit of a tag effect. Also, my sister was the one that gave me the peppermint candies, and it's kind of a tradition We, when we go holiday shopping together. For whatever reason, I always need a snack. Yep, that's me. And I often would get peppermints and or peppermint bark or whatever, and my sister and I did not have a chance to holiday shop together, and she brought me those peppermints. So I'm loving that, and it's, to me, that's, just a nice remembrance that she said, well, you know what, Jill, we can't shop together, but here's your peppermints. I love it. All right. So that is the beginning setup on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, as I said, I sketched this polar bear. And one of the joys of December Ember for me is that I don't really think about using wax or too much in my journals. I like the batik kind of look that this this wax crayon has. And because of the prompt on the day that we had to use wax and the tea bag on the 21st, now I pulled out this wax crayon and it's inspired me to add it to my Hobonichi spread. So I'm going to go in with the uh, Koi watercolors on the right hand side and oh yeah in order to see really where you've put it on the page there's a little bit of a gloss so if you move it around under the light you can kind of see how your how your design turned out and of course you're going to see in a minute when you wash it over with the uh, with the watercolors but anyway a lot of fun and again the Fember Ember did its job for me with inspiring me to use different materials. And that's one of the things I love about the journal community, getting inspired by others, getting inspired by prompts and just the journal spreads that all the different YouTubers and, and people share on their blogs and websites. It's really, the journal community is a lot of fun. And I really feel in this end of the year session, very happy to be a very small part of it. It was in July that I decided to turn on my camera and share what was happening on my journey, journaling pages and give it a, give it a little roll as Jelly Bean Studio with, um, with a whole lot of practice and trial and error, finally getting a few videos out into the world. <laughs> So thank you to everyone who's been watching throughout late summer when I started and fall and I would love to have, um, I thank you for the subscribers I have and would love if new subscribers join in the new year. It's been a really fun ride and good experiment in how to share what happens in your own little journaling corner of the world. and. I love that about the journaling community to be able to just see what we would do on our on our private pages and be able to share with one another. I think it's a really joyful thing. So I hope you get some inspiration here. I hope you try new things and I am just very grateful and thankful that 
I have uh, continued to experiment and play and explore in my journal and feel lucky that once in a while I can turn on the camera and, and share it. <laughs> All right. So this is just a very playful wash of watercolors over my wax snowflake and snow design to outline this polar bear. And as you might know with watercolors, they dry lighter. So I've gone in a few times and I've also done a little drying time. Also made a few extra splatters there on the bottom and decide that it would be really fun to add a few more on the top and onto that napkin to make the double page spread a little more cohesive. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you never know where that spray is gonna go. And there is my snow man tab made recycled out of that Christmas card. I love the back. My mom signed that. So I have her handwriting. I know I've said that before, but I love having other people's handwriting, family members in my journal. There's just something personal about handwriting and I love to include that in, in my ephemera. So these are my somewhat new Karen Dash colored pencils that I've been enjoying in the last few videos. And I decided to just go in and outline the polar bear with some blues and grays, sort of getting the, the main shape of the polar bear. He is a hot chocolate polar bear. I'm still not over that hot cocoa bomb that I had the other week in work. It was absolutely delicious. And it was also the um, like the cupcake container, that paper container was from that hot cocoa bomb that I made the frost flower for the Defemer Ember. And I love recycling in junk style journals. I personally do use old and new in my junk journals, but it's so nice when you have those little bits and pieces of ephemera from your everyday life to add. So, so that was great and definitely have that hot hot cocoa feeling here in chilly New England. Today is, um, well, I'm again working on the 26th and posting this, I think likely on the 27th, which would be a Monday. And um, yeah, it's chilly, <laughs> but not snowy at this point. It's, uh, it's just really cold and crisp and clear and a little windy but it's you know that that's that's the weather in New England and that's what you uh that's what you expect always a mix of it's always exciting <laughs> all right so I this is gonna be a lot lighter when it dries but I wanted to emphasize a little bit of blue just to give a little shade and shadowing and again, it will lighten up so you will see sort of a gray white when my hot cocoa polar bear is done. And in the new year, I hope to, I, I've been reflecting, I think we all do, I hope to continue my journaling practice in a similar way using I have a Hobonichi for 2022. I still have room in this one and that's the beauty of the day free is I don't have to rush into the 2022 version and as I said in the video at the beginning I'm thinking of that backdrop or drop cloth paper for the newest junk journal are you a person who journals in more than one journal or a planner composition notebook I feel I always have at least two journals going <laughs> But for me, there's self-care and joy in playing with paper and different styles and just enjoying, um, enjoying the supplies that you have or inspiration from other journalers that you, know, that you see along the way. There's so many YouTubers that put out wonderful content and I'm always inspired to you know, find new ideas and try them my own way, put my own spin on them. And I hope that's 
the same is happening for you. And that's really, hopefully, in Jelly Bean Studio in the upcoming year, as I think about that, that's really still the core of what I want to do is share my pages and hope that there's an idea or two that sparks your your own interest and a twist that you can put in your own journal pages. So that's sort of my continued plan. <laughs> All right, going in on the home stretch here with a micron very loosely. And a micron is a nice permanent pen. I am, again, being very loose and doing sort of a free sketchy just to sketchy moves, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds so great. Light moves uh, to to outline the polar bear with the hot cocoa. A little more color pencil, adding some shading and shadowing and some cheeks. I think, I think he looks pretty happy. <laughs> ah. So another doodle illustration in the Hobonichi, celebrating the winter, celebrating the end of the holiday season. I'm going to finish it off with my gnome stickers that I've been using throughout the month as you, if you've seen any of the last few videos or care to go back to look, I show you... Um, my little gnome family <laughs> that was definitely taking over the last video. I have to, I do have an update on that. So I originally bought that candle, the gnome candle in the last video to uh, give away as a gift. And then I was really considering keeping it, but yep, my sister got it. Gnome for the holidays. I let it go. <laughs> it was hard, but I did it. <laughs> I knew she would appreciate that. So I took that into her, her holiday gifts. All right. And I have a little bit of a December break right now, a few days off documenting that finishing up this journal spread, wrapping up the December journaling for 2021. I hope you have had a fun journal session today. Thank you so much for watching Jelly Bean Studio in this year and happy journaling to you and happy new year. Thank you so much for watching.